So the first step to get ready in Nest Drop is to first open up the settings and then you need to change the spout resolution to 4096 by 4096 and then everything is basically ready in Nest Drop. So to start recording the Nest Drop visuals, you're going to need to install another piece of software called OBS. OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software. It's free software. You can totally download it and easily install it, no problem. Um, and then you're also going to need a plugin uh, for OBS. It's called Spout Source Plugin for OBS Studio. And this allows you to record the visuals which output from this Deck 1 preview window. So Nest Drop has this really nice technology built in called Spout. Spout allows you to share whatever is rendered on the graphics card, on the GPU. It can be shared automatically to any other software which also supports Spout. And Nest Drop has Spout built in. So once you get these two pieces of software installed, then we can open up OBS. Here we are. And from here, uh, I'm going to show you the basic settings that are what I think is the best for recording the visuals. So we're going to make a new scene and call it Nest Drop Recording. And then from the sources, if you click this plus sign right here and select Spout to Capture, that's the plugin. And then you can keep all the defaults. And then from here, all you have to do is select Nest Drop Deck 1. And there it is. So it's automatically being brought in. Um, although, as you can see here, this is a rectangle. And we need, um, we don't want a 169 ratio. We want a 1 to 1 at 4K. So to do that, if we open up the settings, there's two different areas. So we need to go to the output area. And then you want to make sure it's really easy, it's just a simple thing. Select high quality medium file size. That takes care of all the necessary recording details. And then also go to the video area, and this is the critical one. You want to select, I mean, to whatever res you want, but 4096 by 4096. And then also the output scale. This one is just as important because it tries to scale it differently. Um, when it's recording out, but you can make them match. And then the frame rate at 30 frames per second. And once you hit apply, okay, there you can see now it's a square and our source is, is there. So from here, uh, we can easily record. So hit record. From here, the result from the recording is a MP4 video, and you could use it however you want. 